Hey guys, my name is Pierre from Can-Am, SpiderAccessories.com and you're wondering why is he laughing? Why is he got this stupid face right now? Well, I've been doing this intro for about 10 tries now and Lydia is borderline crying, laughing because I can't get a hold of myself. So, I'm going to leave it like this. You're going to see me. I'm all pumped. I'm excited about something. I've been keeping this quiet for about three months. Three months in the spider industry, when you come out with a new accessory, it's very short. But this seems like a year I've been working on this. So, I'm here. It's for the F3. I'm gonna show it to you right now. I'm gonna put it on sale right now. But, I'm gonna give it to you big time. You ready? Here I go. Hey guys, my name is Pierre from can -Am Spider Accessories and welcome to the spider shop. Where'd you go, what'd you do late last night? All right, you're still there after that. I'm calming myself down. I'm feeling zen right now. All right, here we go. So, what do I have for you right now? It is a floorboard for the Can-Am Spider, the F3 series. It's for the, the Spiders F3 that don't have factory floorboards, but have OEM, they have the standard pegs. Why am I so excited about this? Well, let me show you what it looks like, and then I'll explain what it will do for you. Trying to find a good camera angle to be able to show you the board and talk a little bit about it at the same time. So here we go. Uh, why this floorboard and why this way? Well, it started off from a need, right? So you make a product usually because you have a need of somebody else uh, that you know has a need for something. So I have a bad back. I have herniated discs and although I like the F3 uh, and I like the handling of it, I like the performance of it. After a little while, after maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, I would find that all my, the pressure would be in my lower back because when you're sitting down here and you got your feet up here, I got my little sticker, you have your feet down here, what happens is that all the pressure is on the lower back and I would need to relieve the pressure once in a while. That's why I like the RT because you got your feet on your side and you can actually like stand up on the bike a little bit. So if I was trying to relieve the pressure by pushing up against here, what happens is that my feet is here and I'm pushing on the same angle here. So I'm pushing myself in the backrest. I'm not actually lifting myself up. I'm just making myself more uncomfortable and I'm, you know, putting pressure or holding onto the handlebars to try to lift myself up, which wasn't, you know, a nice sensation. So I figured I'm getting older. I have problems. Probably a lot of people have it as well. I started to talk to some people and some friends and they told me, yeah, sure, Pierre, we like it, but it's hard on the back. So I said, well, if it could be like an ATV where I could put my feet on the side and lift myself up, almost like even on slow traffic, look over the windshield by standing up on the bike, that'd be amazing. So this is where this comes from. So you want the, 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 the feeling of the F3 with the feet up front, but you also want to be able to stand up on the bike. And with this, you'll actually be able to stand up on the bike. Now, there's another, uh, there's a couple more of added value things to this as well. Well, it's a step up. This is, if I measure from the ground, we're about eight and a half inches from the ground, okay? eight to eight and a half inches from the ground. This is the height of a normal step when you walk up the stairs. Another thing is that when you want to swing your leg over the bike, well, a lot of people are using this, but this comes in at about 15 inches. So you're using the rear peg. It's one thing to get your leg up that high, but if you have problems with your knees or your hips and you're looking to lift all your weight from that height, it's really difficult. So we thought this would be better. 
So this is a step. Let me show you how strong that is. I weigh in at about, I will say it, about 255 I weigh in. And uh, this is a quarter inch aluminum and it's got it's reinforced here on the back it's been bolted in here as well we got the special washers here uh, angle washer to be able to give a, a nice secure hold here and it's got linex on top of it and linex makes things much much stronger so when you get on the bike you'll be sitting right in the middle of the f and the three and this is what happens when you get on here we go i come in at about I'm swinging on this baby and I weigh in, like I said, 255. You want to get on the bike, you just go up and over. And when I said before that you could ride it like an ATV or you could lift up on the bike, you can get up on the bike. I'm not holding my hands. And look at this, I can move the bike back and forth. And of course, when you want to get off the bike, well, it is much easier to do so. So this way, that way this way that way as well it just makes things a lot easier something else that's an added value is this part here well the backing has got a couple of functions it's there to give you uh, an anchor so you can fix the board to the bike but also give you protection against the wind and against the water that's coming in through there usually so everything that's coming in through there is now stopped because it can't get through. It's on the same angle as that tubing that's there right now. The other thing as well is that if you have a look, the direction that it's here, it's also in line with the passenger pegs or floorboards, giving you added protection for the passenger as well, for the water and the wind coming up. So we like that very much. So you get the comfort of a step to get on and off. You get the comfort of being able to lift yourself up on the bike. You get the floorboard here, plus you get the protection from the wind and the rain. The floorboard that we have here is Precision 3. It's actually the stock position when you buy the Can-Am Spider. Now they have five riding positions. Just a reminder if you've forgotten, when you get your Can-Am Spider, they'll ask you to get on a, a system that they call the U-Fit. It's to make sure that it's personalized to the height or the length of your arms and your legs arms up here and your legs down here so this is like on a carriage type of thing and to give you an idea this is position three position five is here position one is here you have almost 10 inches difference here so we went out and we made a floorboard for every position none of this one size fits all kind of board or adjustable boards that was nothing we wanted nothing to do with that we wanted to make a floorboard that was for your position it had the right look because it was fitted to you so the boards what happens is that they all start at the same place here in the back they run towards the front now obviously this part here is going to be shorter if you position one or two three and as you go forward we add two inches and two inches of space here when we go back from position three to two we take off one inch and one inch and then we keep going here two inches at a time as we go forward so the boards always finish underneath the passenger here you don't have a board that will give you you know a, a hole here because the whole purpose of this board is to help you get on and off so it needs to be a full-size board so more material on number five less material on number one but it still gives you the same function a place to stand up uh, to step up a place to stand up when you're on the Canem Spider and riding it and of course the same added protection for the rain and for the wind that would be coming here I hope you understood why I was so happy about this product and I was so pumped. I couldn't wait to get the video done. That being said, today is February 16. It is on a Friday. On the 22nd, so until Thursday night, the 22nd of February 2018, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking pre-orders. I'm about two weeks away from shipping out. Okay? Regular price on the website will be $429 and that covers all sizes whether it's a number one or a number five more or less material we've rounded off the numbers and it's going to be $429 
for pre-orders. These will go up on the website tonight. If you come in and you pre-order before the 22nd of February, I'm going to knock off $100. We're going to do them at just 329 bucks. I know that's competitive. I know what's out there. I know what the competition is. I know our place in the market. That's a more than a fair deal. It's an amazing deal. I'm very confident. Why I can do that is that I have until that Thursday to adjust the quantities that I'm ordering. So I'll probably get anywhere from 50 to 100 sets made. But depending on the orders that come in, we'll adjust ourselves to be able to meet the need of the customer. And the saving that I'm going to get, instead of putting it in my pocket, I'm going to pass it on to you guys. So go ahead order on the website you see this video go where you go on canam spideraccessories.com that's canam spideraccessories.com uh, i will be uh, doing an install video when i get the new hardware in the bolt that you saw on the side there the x bolt that's going to be um, a button cap with an allen key so i was waiting for the new hardware to come in uh, sometime next week for me to do an installation video but it should take about 10 10 minutes per side and, and no more than that so once again i thank you very much for following us go ahead browse on the website last time i checked we had over 241 different things for sales for canam spiders because we only sell canam spiders accessories of course my name is pierre I hope to see you on the roads this summer.